Kentucky is divided into six physiographic regions. The Jackson Purchase, Shawnee Hills, Penny Ryle, Knobs, Cumberland Plateau, and the Bluegrass region. Each region's ecology is a direct byproduct of the geology underlying the region. Today we will look at a state nature preserve in the Bluegrass region, Tom Dorman, and we will examine some of the most interesting geology the Bluegrass region has to offer. At over 900 acres and 4 miles of hiking trails right on the Kentucky River, Tom Dorman is a beautiful preserve to immerse yourself in nature and look at cool rocks. Let's talk about the geology of Tom Dorman State Nature Preserve. Here in front of me are all of the different rocks you'll find here. From oldest to youngest, we have the Camp Nelson, the Oregon, the Tyrone, and the Lexington Limestone. The first rock formation that we have is the Camp Nelson Formation. This is a limestone. It is very tight grained and it has a lot of fossilized burrows that you can see right here. Um, the burrows were created by some un unknown organism and um, they were filled in with dolomite, so they are orange. Next we have the Oregon Formation. The Oregon Formation is a dolostone. It is, unlike the rest of these, is, a, is composed of dolomite instead of calcite. This, the, laid on top of the Camp Nelson formation and created these, or filled in all of these burrows that are orange. Now we have the Tyrone formation. This is very similar to the Camp Nelson formation, but it, it does not have any of those fossilized burrows in it. It is also a little bit lighter and whenever it weathers, it turns very white. And our last rock, is the Lexington limestone. It is very shiny and is coarse grained. It is the youngest of all of these rocks. All of those rocks were created around 480 million years ago. The next part of these rock story involves faulting. If you drive past Tom Dorman Nature Preserve, you may have noticed some rocks that are a little sideways. These rocks were deformed from a fault, the Kentucky River Fault. A fault is where two blocks of rock are separated by a crack and displaced up or down in relation to each other. A fault is not the boundary of a tectonic plate. It is the result of compression or stretching forces exerted by tectonic movement. As cool as faulting is, the main reason people come to Tom Dorman is to look at the beautiful Kentucky River Palisades. But have you ever wondered why these giant cliffs are in the middle of the bluegrass, an area known for its rolling hills? Rewind about a million years ago before the last ice age. The Kentucky River did not empty into the Ohio River. It emptied into the Tays. When glaciers came down and destroyed the Tays River, and the Kentucky was rerouted into the Ohio, the Ohio was half of the distance that the Tays River was. To compensate for this change in distance, the Kentucky River had to downcut over 300 feet into the limestone that we see today. Although the geologic history of the Kentucky River Palisades spans back 480 million years, the ecological effects of these major geologic events are still very present today. The geology of the Kentucky River Palisades has provided habitat for calcium-loving plants, glade-dwelling plants, plants that love rock outcroppings. Using vegetation as a lens to view the ecological effects of geology, we will take a look at how Tom Dorman Nature Preserve provides the right ecological conditions for a host of plants. This beautiful little yellow to orange flower is Hori Pacoon. Hori Pacoon loves open, glady, rocky areas, and we find that here at Tom Dorman at uh, the power line. It's a, actually a wonderful remnant glade. On rock out crops across Kentucky, like at stream banks or places like the Palisades, you'll often find this beautiful plant called early saxifrage. Prickly pear love habitat like these rocky outcroppings where almost nothing else grows. 
beautiful little plant is dwarf larkspur. It looks like a witch's hat if you look at the at the flowers. You find this mostly on on calcareous soils, uh, which is exactly what we have here at Tom Dorman. Um, these dudes are absolutely beautiful in the springtime. With so much geology and vegetation to observe, plan a hike at Tom Dorman Nature Preserve and experience it all for yourself.